uh, Thursday the 6th of May. Uh, this is uh, Ireland's most southerly point. And uh, I think if you can see by the sign here, the picture on the wall, there's a footbridge that brings us over to Mizzen Head, uh, right at the very southerly point. But unfortunately we can't actually get over to the bridge because um, if you take a look over here, they're doing some construction work. So I shall be beginning my walk from this very point here and um, heading all the way up to uh, Donegal, uh, 625 kilometres in all, uh, 25 kilometres per day and um, looking forward to hitting the road and meeting as many people as I can to talk about the blasphemy law and how that impacts on people in Ireland. Hi, I'm inside the um, Mizzen Head Tourist Office, Tourist Centre. I'm joined by Mary. Hello, Mary. How do you do, Paul? I'm fine, thank you. And uh, I'm going to discuss the, uh, the blasphemy law. Are you are you aware of the blasphemy law, no. Mary? You're not aware of the fact that on the 1st of January this year, a blasphemy law came into practice, whereby anything that's deemed to be blasphemous, blasphemous material or utterance of blasphemy would carry a 25,000 euro fine in Ireland. Another blasphemy police? Well, this is it, you know. Uh, the guards want to be given new powers to uh, <laughs> control theological thought crimes. We're, we're not sure yet, but uh, okay. there has been the promise of a referendum on yes. the matter. Yes. And the Fianna Fáil government have promised that they will uh, give a referendum to the people yes. whereby we can vote on whether or not there should be a continuation of the blasphemy law. Mm -hmm. My war from Mizzen Head up to Mallet Head is to. Um, push for a, a yes vote to repeal the blasphemy law. Actually, I don't know if I believe you. I know yeah. you've got something written down there, but I've got my glasses. You don't believe me? Well, that's interesting as well, the fact that somebody might not necessarily believe. No, I think, it's, I think you're been, winding me up. No, it's not a joke. Believe me, it's true. Thinking it's about it again, I think you are right from the point of view that um, you don't want the government to be um, so Pity, let's say, for want of a better word. I mean, there's lots of other things they could be doing that would be far more valuable to everybody rather than issuing a law like that. So, bleak, stupid. Are you finished now? Thank you very much for your time. Okay. So, I'm about to head off on my trek. Uh, but each day on my trek, I shall be quoting from 25 quotes on the Irish blasphemy referendum on the, on, on the right of freedom of expression. So, today's quote is... Did you ever hear anyone say, that work had better be banned because I might read it and it might make me very, it might be very damaging to me. And that quotes from Joseph Henry Jackson. In the little town of Nazareth 2000 years ago, there lived a hard like Jesus Christ, the hardest ever known. They say he was so tough cause he was burden in the shed. And be six months old, he had a bleeding bounty on his head. Jesus, oh Jesus, the school is being nice. With all the stars in Israel, he could not be enticed. Jesus, oh Jesus, it's funny you never rolled. Cause it's you I do be shooting for each time I shoot me load. It's you I do be shooting for each time I shoot me. Jesus!